Uh, yeah, it was a great experience. Uh, you know, it probably would have been better if I came out with a win, but uh, you know, it was great to play with my home crowd and get my family down supporting. Had a good support from the crowd, so you know, as far as losing goes, I enjoyed this one. Best loss you've ever had then, almost. Yeah. Um, to break it down, let's start with the first set. 6-1, um, it got away from you extremely quickly. W was it just a touch of nerves? Yeah, I think, you know, I, I came out, I played a good uh, first game, actually, but uh, even in the first game, you know, I was feeling the nerves. He didn't put in a great game, to be honest, and they gave him the break, but, uh, you know, he's a talented player, and he got the break on me, which, you know, a bit to my nerves and a bit to his good play, and after that, you know, he's too good, you know, he, he got away from me, and uh, luckily in the second set, I was managing to pull that back because he was about to get away from me again, but, you know, he put in a few bad points, saw an opportunity, and I took it, and got back into that second set. When you got back, it seemed like you really got a momentum behind you. How good was your confidence at that stage when, once you broke back? Yeah, it was good. I mean, like, like I say, from the first set, I was feeling nervous. So when I got that uh, opportunity, I took it. The confidence started coming. And then more so, I think I just started to relax when I played. And I think it showed in my tennis. I was you know, playing my game a bit better, you know, with a, you know, a bit more confidence in each shot. So I think that helped a lot. You started to get after him a bit. You started to rush the net, really play some um, aggressive tennis. Was that all part of the confidence building? Just the fact that you you, you were going after him rather than welcoming him, welcoming him to come after you? Yeah, I think uh, that was something I needed to do to uh, to compete with him. I thought that's uh, I'm going to have to play big, you know, go out and put in a good performance. Uh, you know, I wasn't able to do that in the first, um, but in the second set, you know, later on, I got that going, and that is something that helped me and it's how I play. So I think that's why. I managed to come back more in the second because I was executing, you know, my game plan and how I play better. I unfortunately, couldn't do it just to a game. In the tie break, you got a jump, three one up. Yeah. Uh, then rain stopped it at three all. Just how much did that affect you? Um, you know, it affected me a little bit, but you know, not too much. I felt, you know, I prepared pretty well, prepared well for to go back out onto the court at three all. So I was ready, and uh, you know, there's a few, there's a few points in there that you know maybe looking back I would have liked to do something else, but. Uh, credit to Donald, uh, played good game, good point, sorry, and uh, he deserved this one. Tell me about that crowd. Uh, there's a, a, a lot of students here because of many tennis weeks, so you had a really nice crowd. You got clapped on, I saw a massive smile crack across your face. Just fantastic to be centre court in your hometown? Oh yeah, it's uh, something beyond, you know. I've, when I was younger I used to, you know, walk around here and see a few tournaments going on and you know, the fact that now I can actually play, be one of people playing in them tournaments is amazing. And hopefully, you know, I'll come back, you know, from next year, come back from this, and then come back next year, and then hopefully be in the main draw, you know, due to my ranking, and then hopefully, you know, I'll get a bit further. That was your first ATP Challenger. Has this given you the taste? Do you feel that you can make that step and keep making that step? Yeah, I've got the taste. I'm hungry for it now. I'm hungry, but uh, you know, I'll have to see what it brings. Great. Well, next for you is uh, back down to Roehampton. Um, do you go with confidence after this? Uh, well, this whole experience. Yeah, for sure. I mean, they're going to be playing a few. I'm going to be playing good players down there, and I'm definitely going to take confidence from this. And I'm just going to try and uh, improve, take the take the positives from the game I just played and the negatives, and just try and work on for the next match.